and welcome to my studio. Uh, my name is Paul Medina. Uh, I'm a visual artist. been making art for, well, most of my life. Um, and I've been teaching for a long time, too. Um, welcome. I, I'm glad you're here. Uh, today, we're continuing on with some, oh, some basic drawing ideas and concepts. Uh, uh, I hope that at least some of you out there, most of you probably, uh, draw. Some of you actually may have uh, visual diaries, um, and that's great. I mean, I, I love that. I kept those myself when I was your age. Um, today, what we're going to do is we're going to, we are, what I'm wanting you to do is I'm wanting you to create an alternative world, right? I'm going to draw a picture of some incredible different kind of world that we live in. This not only will maybe get you to maybe stretch your your uh, drawing talents but also your imagination. And one of, and I want to talk to you about this one artist before we get started. And I love this guy's work. He's young, he's probably in his 40s. Yeah, I know. That's old for you guys, but for artists, that's that's pretty young. His name is Kendi or Kenda Wiley. He is an African American artist who does these phenomenal um, paintings of black men in, and women in poses right, how you pose people for, you know, like a portrait or something, puts them in poses that has really never been done before. In his world of art, he created just regular black gentlemen and ladies, but he drew them in such a way that gave them nobility, put them in incredible, beautiful clothes. Something that up until he did it never existed in the history of art. It was, it was like he went to museums and he saw these incredible, you know, Napoleon Bonaparte on top of a, you know, a horse charging forward with incredible clothes and he looked like a god up on that hill. Everyday people, and especially people of color, were never, ever, ever depicted like that. And so this guy decided, he went all through Europe and, and saw all this phenomenal artwork, and guess what? He didn't see any artwork that made black people look majestic, phenomenal. Now we have images kind of like that now, and you know, you see Jay-Z and Beyonce, and they're just kicked back in their finery, and you know, but that's kind of new. That, that didn't really truly happen before, up until recently. And the artist Wiley, he started doing that. He started creating an alternative world where this could happen. So it's not just a matter of I'm going. I want my world to look like a can, can the 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 uh, board game Candyland. You know, yeah, you could do that. That's cool. You could do it in many, many, many ways. But I want you to think in terms of using your imagination to create something that's never been that doesn't exist. There's another artist named Salvador Dali, uh, Rene Magritte, they're all dead, but they were what is called surrealists, and if, if you know what uh, realists are, artists that are rea realist, they draw and paint and sculpt in 
real natural ways, realistic ways. They kind of look like what they're supposed to be. Surrealist, on the other hand, created worlds that looked real, but they could never be real in, in real life. You know, it's, you know, gravity, you know, physics would not allow it. And so that's kind of where I'm wanting you to go with this. I want you to create a world that looks somewhat real, but could not be real because of the natural laws of physics and science. Does that make sense? And so, again, I don't have much time here, but what I would like for you to do is test yourself. Every, if you come back to my classes, every time we, you come back, I'm going to try to push you into maybe exploring places that you haven't been. Hey, some of you may have already done this stuff, and that's cool, I get that. But some of you may not. And so I want you to think in terms like that. So I'm just going to do something really simple. I'm going to, and this could, this could actually really happen now, which is kind of scary, but I'm going to develop a world that everybody lives under the ocean. Now there are submarines and there are, you know, there are situations where uh, people can live under the ocean and a lot of, and a lot of times that's NASA. You know, they train astronauts to go down real deep in the ocean and be isolated from everybody. It's kind of a thing that they do to get them ready to go into space. But I'm talking about everyday people. Um, I know when I saw... Um, the show Aquaman, that's surrealism. That scene in the, in the ocean, that beautiful, incredible thing, that's surrealism. It's fantasy, absolutely. <clears throat> so use your imagination. Uh, whether it's uh, a world where everybody's happy and everybody's fed, and everybody has a home, that's, that's, that's a cool thing because it's, it doesn't exist. It exists in certain parts of the world, but in most parts of the world, that's just not a reality. So to create a picture that represents that is really kind of an alternative world because it doesn't exist now. So you could add monsters, you could add, you know, flying horses, you know, whatever, whatever you want to do. I want you to use your imagination and create a scene in which anything's possible. Uh, so you're, uh, so you have to have an imagination. You have to be able to go, you know, I, I tell you what, there was a period of time in my life I thought an artist had to do this and this and this and this to get to where they, they developed their own style, right? That was the common wisdom at the time if you were really wanting to be an artist, you know, to, that you make money and that's what you do for a living. But that's not really, you know, and you know, you know what's changed? The internet. The internet has changed. It's changed all the arts. It's changed music. It's changed how we see other people. So think of that. Think in terms of creating something that just doesn't exist. I think it's a good exercise. And of course, one thing you have to have
let me ask you a question. What if, from the very beginning of time, human beings stayed in the ocean? Human beings grew up from the beginning of time, way before we were cavemen in caves. Long, long, long time ago. Millions of years ago. Instead of us, you know, rising out of the sea and growing, you know, arms and legs and stuff, what if the human being with a human brain stayed in the ocean? What kind of world would we be? What would we be doing? I read this, I, I saw, uh, did a, uh, a podcast the other day about there are some people that believe that dolphins are just as smart as human beings. And they ask that question. What, the, dolphins become dolphins and live the way they do because they didn't have hands. Isn't that weird? We have this brain, we have this human brain that has allowed us to just do well, everything, doing this. Lights, everything, we've done everything. But what if we had stayed in the water? I think it's kind of really, or for that matter, what if we, human beings, all we'd ha always had wings like birds, right? I'm talking about from the very, very beginning where, where human beings were becoming human beings on this planet, right? That we always had wings. What would be different today if we were just like we are right now, but we could fly? We had wings. It would change everything. Do you actually think that we'd be still living, building on the ground? I don't think so. An alternate world. That's what I'm trying to get you to try to do in this project. Use your imagination and come up with something, I hope, better than what we have now. You know, I've done this before talking about, you know, if we had always had wings, you know, what would change? Well, our clothing would change for sure, you know. Uh, um, one thing that would disappear almost overnight is we wouldn't have cars. Think of all the cement in the earth just for travel. We wouldn't need it. So anyway, this is a food for thought thing. I want for this project, I would really like for you to pull out the stops and just create something Fun. You can do it fun. It doesn't, it can be silly. Just so that when I look at it, I go, yeah, that's it. You did what I was asking you to do. Create something brand new. And again, hopefully for the better. Anyway, uh, this is my time uh, for this, uh, this program right now. I want you to uh, keep plugging on. Uh, if it, it, a lot of people say, uh, oh, I can't be an artist, I'm too young. Forget it. If you, if you make art and you love making art, you're an artist. I'll see you next time. Have a good week. Take it easy. Bye.